So what we're looking at here is cut thrust sword work and how that impacts our movement and how it's exactly the same movement MK hand as it is with the sword. So with the sword, I'm cutting, counter, and cutting. And that movement is a nice, smooth, rapid movement, including changes of distancing and managing. And how is that movement going to impact directly an empty hand movement? So what happens when he's punching is I use exactly the same core body movement that I would with the sword and basically the same hand movement. And these are all subtle cams because with swords, even though it looks like it on movies, you're not smashing them and banging them together. So as Tyler punches and I move my body, I have the one sword movement that just cams and strikes him back at the same time. It comes from my body, it's hard for him to see that. As he's punching, I bring my body back, which changes the angle. My arm comes up sliding, and then the cut because as I'm cutting to the right, my, my uh, body's rotating to the right. This hip is where the power generates. If I'm cutting to the left, then my body moves to the left. So my gather with him is body to the left to cam, roll him over, strike him behind the ear with a bottom fist. And a lot of bottom fist, top fists are used because originally this was all daggers and other things that you were stabbing somebody with, you didn't hit him with your hand. So, it's not like the Hollywood movies where in the middle of a big fight or some guy punches like that's actually going to be better than hitting him with the cross and hilt of the sword or the pommel of the sword or something like that. It doesn't work quite so well. Okay. So you move. He punches quick. And we're just tying all this together so you can see where these movements come. Okay. How they come. How they can be very deceptive movements. It could be a, deceptive, a movement where you're bringing up like you're, like you're uh, brushing your hair. Okay? It doesn't look like you're avoiding a punch in the process. 